Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Benox Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'd like to talk about blood flow through the heart. And what we're going to basically talk about is blood coming from the body to the heart, how it passes through the heart to the lungs, then back to the heart again, and then out to the body again. So we start with the blood being in the body and coming back to the heart. From the body, it's going to, when it gets real close to the heart, it's going to enter two major veins that are called the superior and inferior vena cava. So I'm just writing vena cava on there, but there's two of them, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. From the vena cava's, and maybe I'll put vena cava's there, um, the blood then goes into the right atrium. From the right atrium, the blood passes through the right atrioventricular valve now into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts and pushes the blood up through the next valve, which is the pulmonary semilunar valve. And after the blood passes through the pulmonary semilunar valve, it will be in the pulmonary trunk. At the pulmonary trunk, we are actually outside of the heart now. Um, that goes into the pulmonary arteries and then finally into the lungs. So the next thing I'm going to put down here is simply lungs. This blood came from the body, so it's deoxygenated. It passed through the right side of the heart, basically, and now it's going out to the lungs to get oxygen. And that is basically covering the right side of the heart. So I'm going to erase this. and start from where we left off in the lungs. From the lungs the blood is going to pass to the heart through pulmonary veins. And enter the heart in the left atrium. From the left atrium, the blood is going to pass through the left atrioventricular valve. And after it passes through the left atrioventricular valve, it will be in the left ventricle. Left ventricle of the heart contracts, or the ventricles together contract, um, and the blood that's in the left ventricle gets pushed through the next valve, which is the aortic semilunar valve. After that blood passes through the aortic semilunar valve, it will be in the aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body. It's the first one coming off of the heart. From there, the blood travels through various arteries to different areas of the, of the body. So the next thing I could put down now is body. And we're back to where we started. So that's blood flow through the heart. To go through it quickly again without writing, it goes, in fact, I can get a heart model here. This is our small heart model. Blood comes from the body to the superior and inferior vena cava. 
into the right atrium. Now my little heart model, this is the right atrium. Then it passes through this valve. This is the right atrioventricular valve, sometimes called the tricuspid valve. The blood enters the right ventricle now. The right ventricle contracts and pushes the blood up here through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary trunk branches into pulmonary arteries. Blood goes into the lungs. Blood comes back from the lungs through the right and left pulmonary veins. This would be the right pulmonary veins and the left pulmonary veins into the left atrium. And then from the left atrium, it passes through the left atrioventricular valve, also called bicuspid valve or mitral valve, into the left ventricle. And the ventricles contract again. And the blood is pushed through this valve, which is harder to see. It's up here. This is the aortic semilunar valve, and then into the aorta. And then there's arteries that branch off of the aorta, take the blood out to the body, and we start all over again. So that's how the blood flows through the heart. Again, as always, any questions or anything, please feel free to email or contact me or write a response on the video. And thank you once again for watching.